Hello, I'm Bradley Fair, editor of the Journal of Commerce, and this is what's coming up next week in print and online. Taseco Mind Limited says a misinformation campaign is fueling opposition to their proposed $1 billion copper and gold mine near Williams Lake, BC. First Nations leaders say their position is fully supported by their communities and have also expressed frustration with the federal environmental review process. Staff writer Richard Gilbert has a story about the government of Alberta allowing Fort McMurray and Drumheller to build in floodways under certain conditions. Richard also has a story about the millions of work hours lost to the Alberta floods. The construction industry offset the total hours lost by devoting time and resources to repairing the damage caused by flooding. Stephen Bald has a new column about long-term contracts. And check out this week's feature video where I talk to Stephen Kushner, president of the Merit Contractors Association, about labor shortages and his organization's response to the floods. All this and more in print and online in the Journal of Commerce and at journalofcommerce.com. I'm going to go to the hospital.